New here at four, more loss for a Chicago firefighter whose home was destroyed by a fire earlier this week. We're learning his wife has also died. The couple's seven-year-old son was pronounced dead Wednesday. CBS 2's Sabrina Franza is live outside the home where they lived. And Sabrina, the rest of his family is still in the hospital. Correct. An eight-year-old girl and a two-year-old boy still remain in grave condition at this hour. That firefighter now having to grieve the loss of both one of his children and now his wife. And now new ring camera video shows the moments right after that fire started. If you take a look on your screen here, you can see the house in question is on the corner of the street. On the same side that that camera was filming, you can see a massive presence. Fire trucks lining North Rutherford Avenue. And as we reported, the fire firefighter identified by Chicago Firefighters Union Local 2 as Walter Stewart. He performs CPR on his wife after the fire began. He was on duty at the time, but was reporting elsewhere when that fire started. The Stewart's wife was identified as 36-year-old Summer Day Stewart. She was pronounced dead at 7.30 p.m. on Thursday. His son, Ezra Stewart, died Wednesday. Earlier this week, the Chicago Fire Department said that all four members of that family suffered from smoke in Inhalation. The cause of that fire is still undetermined, and the memorial for that family grows outside of that house, again, even more so as the news of that firefighter's wife reaches the rest of the neighbors here on this block. We're live in the Montclair neighborhood. Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News. All right, Sabrina, thank you.